Hey guys, it's Scrub here, and uh, I'm gonna be doing something a little different today. I'm be showing you guys how to animate an eyeball opening and closing, or basically a blink. So it's pretty simple. It should only be a few frames. So first off, you want to start a new animation file, open it up in Clip, and then draw your eyeball. And basically, what this is is your frames. So these are what you're gonna draw on. So now you want to make sure you have your onion skin enabled. This will allow you to see under beneath all your frames for blinking usually i don't like to like redraw the eyeball because i don't really feel like i need to i'm going to duplicate this frame by pressing ctrl c and then ctrl v and then i'm gonna come back down here and i'm going to press the number two here so that will set it as a whole new layer rather than duplicating it i'm going to grab the lasso tool and then I'm going to grab all the top half of the eyeball, except the pupil. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to close it like this. So I'm going to go to free transform. This will change it when I press control T to transform. So now I'm going to take this top half and just squish it down a little bit. Now this will squeeze in your eyelid a little bit. So just you would want to clean that up a little bit. So boom, now it's like slightly closed. What I usually do is I bring the eyebrow down a little bit. Control T again to transform. Rotate a little bit and just drop it down slightly. I'm gonna make a new frame again. You're gonna copy and paste this one. Control C, Control V. And then come down here to your timeline. Right click and then press three this time. For this frame, since a blink is usually like really quick, you don't want to have so many frames. So for this one, I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna flip it upside down. And now that I flipped it, it kind of gives the idea that the eyeball is closed. We're gonna draw the, the eyelid again. Next frame, you only wanna put it a few frames ahead, like maybe two or three. And by the way, I have this file or this animation is in 24 frames per second. Copy and paste again, go C, Control V. This time we're gonna click four. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna take this, delete the bottom half of the eyeball now. That's gone. Obviously we're not gonna be able to see the pupil anymore. But now we're gonna move the eye down so it matches up right in the middle of these two or where the, the bottom of the eyeball used to be. We can move this. So it looks like your eyes are closing. And then the eyebrow is gonna go down again. Tilt it a little bit. Now we have a closed eye. You can add some eyelashes, I guess. As you can see, we have a bit of an animation going on. Yeah, now we have a blink. So as you can see, it's closing really slow. And that's because I have these gaps here. So what these gaps are basically doing is it's repeating this frame here, 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 and then it goes to the second frame. So that's what this empty space means. What I would do is I would move this here maybe. This will make it so the blink will be a lot faster. Boom, now it's closed. It's a bit slow. Thinking maybe if I get rid of this frame, I bring this one in, it'll look a lot faster. See? So now we have the blink in or the blink downwards done. Now the rest is a lot easier. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the first frame, you're gonna hold Alt, and you're gonna click and drag it in front of your last frame. So now it's duplicated, so it opens up at the end. See? Now it's an actual blink. And you can Move it forward a little bit if you want to be a little bit slower. If you're like one frame ahead. And now what I like to do is I'll add what I like to call like relaxed frames or like something that adds a little bit of bounciness. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the first frame, copy and paste, and move this up. And now you're going to name this frame 1A. So now all you have to do is take this, control T, and what I like to do is I'll do free transform, 
Now open the eye like a little bit more, widen it out a little bit, and then that's it. And I'll raise the eyebrow maybe. You can see it's slightly bigger. This will make it bounce up, and then we're gonna make it bounce down again. Grab your first frame, and then Alt, and then click and drag it over in front of it. See, now there's a bounce. You can control that bounce wherever you want. You have a little animation. If I wanted to, I can go in. I could adjust this bounce a little bit. Maybe it's too much. You just go back in, squish it, adjust how you want. Maybe you only want it to bounce upwards like that. And also another tip, if you want your frames to loop, take this blue, that's all the way over here, this blue square, and move it all the way over here. So now when you play it back, you should only play everything that's in this area. See, now it's blinking like really fast. You can put like a gap here, so there's a little bit of timing in it. Like that. And yeah, that's um, how I basically draw my blinking frames or make a blinking animation. You know, you can draw the eye however you want to. It can be super detailed. That's basically it. You can duplicate it, copy and paste it, so that it looks like there's two eyes blinking. Like if you wanted two eyes, you can copy and paste this folder, bring this over, flip it. Now you have two eyes. And when you copy and paste the whole animation folder, it'll copy and paste everything that's down here. So now you have two eyes blinking instead of just one. Obviously I wouldn't recommend duplicating the eyes like I did, because it does look a bit too even. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like this type of video. I don't, I don't usually do videos like this. You know, I'm usually not the one talking. It's usually silent, which is music. But uh, I thought I'd do something different. And also we're getting really close to 5K. Let's hit 5K and then move straight to 10K. So thank you guys for watching.